we continue to refine the way that we can build storage containers and packages in Flex Rental Solutions. As an example, on this system, we have an inventory item called Dual Verilite VL2500 Spot Case. If we edit the inventory item, we can view its structure and availability preset. We have it set as a serialized storage container. That means it's tracked by serial number, meaning each case will have its own barcode. Inside that unit or each barcode, we can add individual units inside there. And those contents that we have placed inside there will be available to rent out, meaning we only store this item inside this container. It is not part of a package that goes out together. When we update this, we also can see that we have a storage requirement tab now. We have dragged in these two requirements, a VL2500 Spotlight. We are requiring two of these items and two 5-pin DMX cables that are 10 foot long each. If we open up one of these items, we can go directly into Container Builder mode. What we see here is with these requirements, we have not fulfilled any of those. So let's get to work. We're going to scan the first item. With that, we have scanned in the first item. One out of two of these have been prepped. We're going to scan the next item. With those two items scanned inside there, two out of two are prepped and we get a single green check mark. We're now going to scan out the 5-pin DMX cable. This item is non-serialized, so it's going to prompt us for a quantity. We're going to enter two. With both of these requirements fulfilled, we now have a green check mark. So now it is very easy to build these contents and to find when the package is or the container is complete to be put on the shelf, ready to go out with one scan in the warehouse. I hope this helps explain the new features for building these storage containers. If you have any questions, send them to support at flexrentalsolutions.com. Thanks.